We're going to learn how we can use addition to subtract. Lesson 2.5. Addition facts can help us subtract because of related facts. 8 plus 3 is 11, and 11 minus 3 equals 8. 3, 8, 11 are related facts. We can make two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences with the related facts 3, 8, and 11. 3 plus 8 equals 11. 8 plus 3 equals 11. 11 minus 8 equals 3. 11 minus 3 equals 8. Two addition and two subtraction sentences. We can find each summer difference. We can use addition to help us subtract. 9 plus 6 equals 15. That means 15 minus 6 equals 9, and 15 minus 9 equals 6. See the three related facts? The 9, the 6, and the 15? Seven plus five equals 12. 12 minus five equals seven, and 12 minus seven equals five. Our three related facts are seven, five, and 12. Now, if you remember, we talked about before that this first number is the minuend. In this number sentence, the four is the minuend the 1 is the subtrahend, it's the amount being taken away from the 4, and the 3 is the difference. We can write related subtraction facts from an addition sentence. We use the sum of the addition sentence as the minuend of the subtraction sentence. That will be the sum of the addition sentence. We'll use it as the minuend of the subtraction sentence. 9 plus 4 equals 13. 13 is the sum. We're going to use it as the minuend in the subtraction sentence. 13 minus 4 equals 9, and 13 minus 9 equals 4. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 10 is the sum. We're going to use it as the minuend in the subtraction sentence. 10 minus 3 equals 7, and 10 minus 7 equals 3. We can do problem solving. We can write a number sentence to help us solve a problem. Tala sees five turtles. Then she sees four more. How many turtles does she see in all? So the first thing we need to do is circle our important information. We know that she sees five turtles. Then she sees four more. How many turtles does she see in all? So our clue words are more and in all. That tells us it's an addition sentence. Five plus four. That would be nine turtles. We make sure we write turtles because we need to label our answers and word problems. Let's try something a little bit harder. Sometimes we will need to use two number sentences to find an answer. Bob has seven cats. Dave has three fewer cats than Bob. So how many cats do they have all together? So the first thing we need to do is circle our important words and write a number sentence. So Bob has seven cats. Dave has three fewer. So because he has three fewer, we know it's going to be a subtraction sentence. But then it says, how many cats do they have all together? So our clue words are fewer. We're going to need a subtraction sentence. Then, after we do our subtraction sentence, it says all together, we're going to have to do an addition sentence. We're going to need two number sentences to solve this one. Seven and three fewer would be seven minus three equals four. Bob has seven. There's three fewer, so Dave has four. 
but how many do they have all together? Bob has seven, Dave has four, seven plus four equals 11 altogether. The answer is 11 cats. We make sure we answer what it was asking of us. How many do they have all together? So do you see how we had to write a subtraction sentence? Then we had to write an addition sentence to solve this problem. You might have been able to do it in your head and write one, but it's actually two sentences, a subtraction, then an addition. So that's how we can use addition to subtract. If we know our addition facts, it'll help us to do subtraction because of the related facts. We know that three numbers make related facts and we can make four equations two addition and two subtraction. I'll see you next video. Bye.